Hello scholars! We're on our last page of Lesson 5. Every single lesson ends with a page from a safari journal. So we're going to look and see what the directions tell us to do. And they're usually the same directions. Sometimes they switch one little word. That's why we've got to look carefully. Safari journal. Visit to a quaint village. Ooh, quaint. We had that in our words a few lessons ago. It means kind of different, a little odd from what you're used to. It is almost noon and we come to a quaint village. Circle, so circle, circle, all of the pattern words in this lesson you can find. So you're going to go through and you're going to circle all the pattern words. Remember, pattern words ended in ES, so that's a big clue. The village school is having classes outdoors under a shady tree. Classes. And I'm like, well, it ends in ES. Was that a pattern word? I have to go back and see, and I see right away there's classes. So it must be a pattern word. So I circled it. The boys and girls sit on benches with a table in front of them. Different than how we sit. Even if we were in school, we don't sit on benches with a table in front of them. It is art class now. What about class? Is that a pattern word? No, that's the base word of our pattern word, which is classes, so we're not going to circle that. And you're going to go ahead and circle the rest. The girls wear colorful dresses made by hand. They dip their brushes into glasses of paint. One girl splashes some paint on the teacher, who just laughs. She wishes it were time to eat. The teacher rings the bell, and everyone gets out their lunches. They eat fish sandwiches and have mango kisses for dessert. The teacher smashes lots of berries to make a yummy juice that quenches their thirst. Some ostriches come near hoping for a snack, but two foxes chase them away. Mango kisses, that's different. Different than anything I would have had. So just a little different, but I read the story to you to find the words. Don't forget to do the bottom of the page. Circle it. I hope you're reading to mom and dad. Put a star by it. Some people even do this. I'm going to draw an arrow down here so I don't forget to do the bottom. Start up there and draw an arrow. Important, important. Do this. Do this. All right. How long does it take you to read Visit to a Quaint Village? 114 words. Mm, by the end of second grade, you should be reading 111 words. Right now we're at about 90, 90 some. If you're reading a little slower than that, that's okay. You just know that you need to practice more. To get better at anything, you have to practice, practice, practice. Find some books you enjoy, pick them up, and read them. Read them to your dog, read them to your cat, read them to your stuffed animal, your learning partner, your mom, your dad, your pillow, whatever you can. Read, read, read to improve. Just like if you play baseball or dance or you want to learn to ride your bike better, you got to practice. All right? I know you can do it. All right, guys, you worked hard this week with this lesson. Good job. Until I see you again, go out and do great works.